Welcome back. Kay Ballard will be the special guest speaker at a Palm Springs Women in Film luncheon happening tomorrow at the La Quinta Resort. Earlier this week, we sat down with her in her Palm Springs home for a chat about Ballard's career, the remarkable friends that she's made along the way, and a project she just completed that is especially close to her heart. Ballard has a Hollywood story for just about every room of her Palm Springs home, including the kitchen table where she had frequent talks with Lucille Ball, often about Desi Arnaz. Lucy used to come over here and sit and ask me all kinds of questions about Desi. Well, she was married to somebody else. Take that, David Letterman. Desi Arnaz let Ballard stay at his place in Palm Springs for years, and she liked it so much she bought the place and has been living here full time now for 15 years. The stories go back decades, like the time actress Shelley Winters used the pool to train for her role in the Poseidon adventure. Shelley Winters would borrow my flashlights, and then she'd keep the batteries in. I'd say, Shelley, you are ruining my flashlights. Take out the batteries. And she says, don't you understand? I have to see underwater. The ship is upside down. So I said, go ahead. Ballard stays connected with many of the stars she came up with, of which there are many. Well, I've been lucky enough to work with great people like Don Adams and uh, Sid Caesar, Imogene Coca, Sandy Dennis, Lucille Ball, Doris Day, Eve Arden, who was a joy to work with. And when people complain on television, I'd like to slap them in the middle of next week because that's the easiest job you can have. Ballard didn't get rich starring on television shows like The Mothers in Law. Like others of her era, she worked hard to hone her craft on stage, the small screen, and film. She was in more than 30 movies. Ballard sees a lot of unused talent from her generation, singling out Shecky Green as someone who will always be able to make people laugh. I once wrote Saturday Night Live and said, why don't you do Saturday Night Live still alive? And have some of the really funny people. Shecky Green is a naturally funny man. He's the kind of man who would go to see Marcel Marceau and say, louder. You think they know who Marcel Marceau is today? I don't think so. He was a mime. <laughs> Kay Ballard sang at the White House for Ronald Reagan and was the first person to record Fly Me to the Moon. But many younger folks around here know her best as a spokesperson for advanced hearing systems, for which she does not get paid anything more than her own hearing aid and the joy she gets from seeing children benefit from their hearing aids. And to have these little kids to see them for the first time hear something, the look, or see, well, it's thrilling. It's been a thrilling life for the 83-year-old, much of it chronicled in her new CD that you can get at kballard.com. The first volume is about my life growing up. The second volume is about my accomplice and Liz Smith, the people that I knew. And the third is Betty Davis, and all the people I came in contact with. And the fourth is talking about my, mom, my mother. And it has music in my voice. That's what I like. It's called My Voice my words with my own mouth and it's based on the book i wrote called how i lost 10 pounds in 53 years again that cd is available on k ballard's website kballard.com tickets available at the door for tomorrow's palm springs women in film luncheon with k ballard at the la quinta resort it's 35 dollars for members 50 dollars for non-members check-in starts at 10 45 tomorrow morning we'll be right back